Apple Tech Beast. This is Apple Tech Beast. Now, this video is quite an exciting one, to be honest, because it's about how to install OS X Mavericks that was released yesterday in the keynote for October 22nd, 2013. Now, um, Apple didn't actually give a release date for Mavericks, but they just released it um, in the keynote and said it was available today. Um, so, yeah. Basically, what you will need to do is, if you have a Mac, obviously, because that's what you need to install it, you will need to go to App Store, and you will need to go into the App Store, type in Mavericks, or it might be in the updates thing, I'm not too sure, because it, I didn't do that it, that way, I just typed in Mavericks, and then it's a free update. So, um, Apple have made these massive updates free now, so, yeah, it's free, just go to the App Store, press download, it's 529 gigabytes, so it's quite big especially if you've got bad internet like i have but yeah what you need to do is after you've in after it's downloaded it will say it's installing and then this screen will come up so i am just going to see what it does basically because i haven't done it obviously so to set up the installation of ios x mavericks click continue it might stop my recording so i'll probably carry it on later when it's done as well so continue ios x mavericks yeah agree It'll be installed on that hard drive, so install. Type in my password. Right, so now I guess that's it. And it's going to restart. So I think that must be just it. And I will start recording again when it's installed as well. So I'll just let it do a bit of this. I'll speed this up. And then I'll come back after it's installed. So as you can see there, it says 43 seconds remaining, so that's hardly anything. Uh, it doesn't take long to install by the looks of it. But the download time was about 12 hours for me, because I've got 1 megabyte per second internet. Which isn't the best, and I assume that because quite a lot of you are watching YouTube, you have better internet than that. In fact, tell me what your internet is in the comments. It'd be interesting, because I'm sure none of yours is, or a lot of yours isn't as bad as mine. But I mean... Hopefully I'm getting an upgrade soon. After that little bar had finished doing its stuff, it says OS X Mavericks ready to install Macintosh HD. Click restart to install OS X. So now I guess all I'll have to do is click restart. It will restart the Mac and it should be on there. Uh, Mavericks will be all there. And I will start recording like I keep saying um, on there to see what happens. So yeah, thanks just for now. Thanks for being patient as well. If you are on my channel, uh, if you're subscribed, sorry, and you all should be, um, uh, then I'm sorry that I haven't done a video for a month. It's basically because I have had quite a lot of schoolwork and I've been trying to edit this Fura 2.0 review a lot and trying to get it out quick and I basically forgot that I haven't done a video for a month. And it was only like last week that I realised I hadn't done a video for so long. So yeah, I'm sorry about that. But anyway, I'm just going to get on to restarting my Mac and we'll see what happens with OS X Mavericks. So yeah. Right, so as you can see here, this is about half an hour after I ended that last clip and it says about seven minutes remaining and it says that it's got that screen on my Mac so I will get back to you when I start the screen recording back on my Mac when it's installed and uh, we'll be able to see what Mavericks is like but just so you can see a bit closer that no, wasn't any closer Hang on a sec. so it says install OS X installing OS X on the disk Macintosh HD time remaining about six minutes and this has taken about half an hour. At first it says it's going to take about 50, 50 sort of minutes, but then it goes down, the uh, estimated time. So good old Mavericks will be ready in about five minutes. So yeah. My Mac is booting up for the first time with OS X Mavericks. Now that mic is in the way, isn't it? There you go. So it's just booted up. It might take a bit longer than usual because it's his first boot up with a different OS, basically. So yeah, that last part, when it said less than a minute, actually took about 10 minutes, but I suppose that's just the predicting time going a bit wrong because they never run smoothly like that does it here we go then it is done i think because the loading thing on the 
boot screen. Yes, the keyboard's come on now. Go on. Completing installation. Oh, there's another seven minutes on top of when it's rebooted. So I think that must be just doing its final, well, completing installation like it says. So, Right, I'll speed this bit up as well now. I think it is done. Right, so after all that fast forwarding and estimated one minute taking ten minutes, um, OS X Mavericks is installed. Um, so that overall has actually taken me about 12 hours and 50 minutes to download and install OS X Mavericks from the App Store. And that is because of my one gigabyte per second download Wi-Fi. The install's pretty quick though, took about less than an hour. So yeah, there you go. Now I'm going to type in my password and um, let's have a first look at the home screen. Let's not have a first look at the home screen. Right, I just need to type in my Apple ID. So Apple ID password, it says sign in to use iCloud, iTunes, App Store, iMessage, FaceTime and more. And then it has that, those, that screen there. So if I type in my Right, so here is a new feature to OS X Mavericks. Uh, it's called iCloud Keychain. Now, if you watch my other videos on um, OS X Mavericks when it was first announced, then you will know what it is. But basically, it is um, it is where it saves all your passwords across all of your iOS and OS X devices, uh, and it's all stored in iCloud. Now, that isn't including your like credit card number, PIN number, but it's everything apart from that basically, so you won't have to keep typing in passwords and emails into things you want. So if I set that up now, and I guess that'll just do it for me, probably, and it says, your information is encrypted and can't be read by Apple, and it just says what it is as well. Right, so now I'm going to create a four-digit four numeric iCloud security code. Right, so I've thought of a passcode, and now I'm going to type it in. Now I've got to type in a phone number, which I'm going to just do now. Now it's just setting up your Mac, which is always good. Now it's got the little ticks like it does on iOS 7 set up. And hopefully this bit won't take too long, and then we'll see what it's actually like. Right, so it's done the third little tick, and now it is done. Right, so iCloud password, please please enter your iCloud please enter your password for my email and then password. And so remember that password and keychain. And then you have got the iBooks and everything in the bottom bar thing. And nothing else in the looks really has changed on the desktop anyway. Because if you look here, quickly before my camera battery runs out, nothing has really changed in the way it looks. So yeah, now I'm going to go onto the screen recorder quickly and then I'll show you what it looks like in better quality. Right, so here is OS X Maverick. So as you can see on the desktop of my Mac, not much has actually changed apart from the fact that there is a an Apple Maps application there, application there, uh, there is an iBooks application there, and that is just about it on the uh, desktop. So if I go into, say, Notes though, the actually actual like thumbnail hasn't changed, but... All of this has been changed in the way it looks. And then the same goes for contacts, calendar, not for reminders, weirdly enough, but anyway. Uh, iPhoto hasn't changed unless you update it, which uh, there's an update for it. There's also an update for iMovie, um, iPhoto, like I said, and GarageBand, I think, which I haven't actually got. Yeah, I've got it up there. So, um, yeah, another thing that has changed, as you just saw then, is this. So these are all really, really quick, in fact. It's made my Mac really, really quick. Um, that is just stupidly quick opening all them. Well, I can just open them as quick as I want and then quickly tap on that and it will open the Mail app, for example. 
so yeah that's changed and it looks a bit different as well it's more transparent um but yeah that is basically what looks different on OS X Mavericks to the average person so the other things that have changed is this RAM condensing thing which gives you basically more RAM and also it gives you more battery uh, time as well just from an update which is amazing uh, so the other thing that I was going to show you is the wallpapers there are, there are a couple of more wallpapers that are different so you've got that one that I'm using there you've got this one that one was already on Mountain Lion and then I think there's I think that's basically it to be honest there's also um, that one it's a wave and then there is that one and I think maybe that one but yeah, there's just a couple more wallpapers as well that look really nice. But I'm keeping the Mavericks, the typical Mavericks wallpaper there. So that is basically Mavericks to the average person. So uh, right now I am downloading the updates for all the iLife things, which are free by the way. And the thing icons have been completely changed and they run completely different as well. So all of these things that I was saying don't look different. They They have changed in the way they work so look iPhoto the icons changed and so is iMovie's icon and they are completely redesigned basically to work better with iCloud thanks for watching this video the next one or the one before should have been about the whole of the October 20, 2013 uh, keynote from Apple and the next one should be a Sphero 2.0 review um, so yeah thanks for watching and I apologise again if I haven't already said about not doing a video for so long it's just because I've had so much school work and I've been concentrating on editing the Sphero 2.0 video um, I basically forgot not to that I haven't uploaded for four, uh, for four weeks sorry not four months I won't ever do that hopefully I won't anyway but yeah I'm sorry about that I'll keep the videos coming about once every week again and yeah thanks for watching Download OS X Mavericks, it is free, again, um, from the App Store, it's the first free upgrade, um, and basically anyone with a Mac can get it, as long as you haven't got a, a Mac that's below 2007, which is quite amazing. But yeah, on the other thing that's quite important is in Finder you get these tabs thing, these this tabs, tabs thing, which means that you can tag things and have them in tabs where you basically can find them easier. You can find everything really, really easy. But yeah, thanks for watching, and um, goodbye. Also, subscribe, like, follow me on Instagram if you like. All li uh, links in the description. And uh, comment as well if you like. If I didn't already say that, I always repeat myself on this part of the videos. But yeah, thanks for watching. Goodbye. <laughs>